keep doing the science. Science is a marvellous thing and you must keep doing it, but the quality of the science is the thing that matters. It's the quality that matters, not length and number of publications. I know that becomes important for jobs, but forget it. It's the quality of the science, and that means looking at the level of the science, looking at the science, looking what's worth achieving. The SGR became a scientific club. So to me, it was vitally important that the skin became a research organ, <clears throat> and now it's an advanced research organ. Rudy Kormani was one of the founding fathers of the ESDR in 1970. Rudy Kormani was a Dutch working in Utrecht and Leiden. His research concerned primarily immune-mediated diseases and photochemotherapy. The most prestigious lecture of the ESDR is named after him. Well, the idea behind the European Society was bring the best from, let's say, England and from Finland and uh, Holland and uh, other countries together because they were experienced in different fields and I think it was a mixture of so many bright people. Because the ESDR allowed everybody to apply with his scientific contributions, the oral presentations and later posters and then of course uh, a symposium, you know, the mixture of all of that. So I think it was a great idea to bring the best, the best of Europe together. And the 29 lectures were selected by the, the committee. And that was not so easy. And it was not so easy. As you can see from the program, and the program is down here in this uh, document, which is the statute, and this is the document. It was, in the beginning, not easy, but we had a very potent or powerful chairman here in Munich. My first ESDR meeting took place, or well, I was participating in this first meeting in 1974. Uh, and I should explain to this that I started dermatology as a young uh, resident in 1973, so I was really very young, and uh, and I owe it to my former chairman and one of my mentors, Klaus Wolf, and he said, if you want to find out what research is all about, and specifically skin research, you should attend the ESDR. My wish is that uh, we continue all together to promote, uh, for the goodwill, uh, basic and clinical science, and that uh, we continue to collaborate and to continue the courses we do together, EADV and ESDR, that we continue the, the promotion of young people via the leadership courses we organize, and that we advance science and medicine. I guess my first meeting must have been back in uh, the 1980s, and I've been to meetings when they had them in Amsterdam. So yes, I, back in the, in the early days when it was a much smaller meeting, of course, and over the years, like most, um, inter most international scientific meetings, it's grown in size. 
uh, but then it was a much smaller meeting. But it was still quite intimidating because these were the people you were making a presentation to were the sort of the icons of European dermatology research. Of course, now in a way, I guess the people that I'm talking to are, would have been in that same category in the past, but now I uh, consider them my friends. So I've been coming to the STR since 1999. It was a meeting in Montpellier where I gave my first plenary lecture and we also had a wonderful social event where we went to the Camargue to see a rodeo. And I came back thinking, oh, well, that was a really interesting meeting, quite surreal. I've never been to a rodeo before at a conference. And since then, I've been coming every year. Uh, latterly, it's been my group who've been presenting their work, their scientific findings. But I've also found it a very engaging and encouraging environment to develop my, my scientific career. So I was able to network with other scientists, but also with clinicians who allowed me to uh, do my human genetics genetic studies into, into rare skin diseases. First, I joined the ESDR annual meeting in Berlin, uh, which was a big adventure for me in uh, 2000. And I was amazed uh, by the high level of the uh, uh, high level scientific merit of the, of the lectures. Um, but I could uh, hear uh, at the Berlin ESDR annual meeting and I was absolutely convinced that I want to be the part of this uh, world for the coming uh, future, for my coming career. So, and it is so for the last 20 years and I'm, and I'm very happy with this. I'm thrilled to represent the Society for Investigative Dermatology in bringing you a message of congratulations for reaching this auspicious milestone, your 50th anniversary of ESDR. In that capacity, I was also put on to a committee called the ESDR SID Liaison Committee. And I think many of you are familiar with that program. It was really visionary at the time. So that program supports the travel of junior cutaneous biologists, exchanges between ESDR, SID, and also the Japanese Society for Investigative Dermatology. At the time of our own respective annual meetings, young people travel to go to the meeting, but they also get to visit laboratories at around the time of the meeting. And so this really provides an opportunity for our trainees to network and develop these ties across the societies that will help promote their careers. And of course, this is so important because they are the future of our society. Dr. Stihi, congratulations. The idea was really to bring together brilliant young scientists in a very informal way with mentors that are uh, advanced in their scientific career and to really teach them how to approach their scientific career because that didn't exist on the European scale yet. So the idea was really to put them together in a nice place uh, in a one to three ratio, so one mentor, two to three mentees and then make them talk and discuss their science, form networks amongst the, the young leaders, but also with the mentors.
One of Rudy Kumani's recognized strengths was to be able to inspire and train young people. And as we've heard, the ESDR continues to pursue this goal in conjunction with its sister societies, such as the EADV. And we shared a common outlook which helped to set up this uh, research summer workshop um, that uh, supported the training of both young dermatologists and young scientists. It's a great pleasure for me to present my research here because it's uh, one of the biggest and the most important uh, scientific conferences on dermatology. What do you get insights for, from the, the most recent uh, breakthroughs in, in experimental dermatology and not just from Europe but there are some other uh, guests from Japan and the States as well so I think it's very useful. And you know, to, to, to uh, get in touch with other researchers from the, the experimental dermatology community. Okay, so the reason why uh, GSID people like to come to ESDR is one reason is city and exchange culture. Because uh, Japanese people have uh, lots of interest in European culture. And the second thing is uh, maybe the social gathering. Uh, during social gathering, uh, Japanese and European people uh, sometimes dance together and talk together. That is very important to exchange our culture, not only science. And third, most important thing is, of course, science. Because um, when we were in our own country, the information and the scientific um, influence is very limited, but ESDR is very open. I think uh, ESDR has very unique uh, society because Many different countries with different cultures come together and exchange science and culture. So uh, I think as an Asian people, uh, we are very interested in joining this meeting. Thank you. always been a very strong advocate of leadership I think you know in my generation we sort of absorbed it as we went along there was no apt, there was no training about how to be a leader you just sort of learnt it and I don't think that is you know really the way to do things in the 21st century. Why did we create the Skin Science Foundation? Because we know that medicine nowadays is focusing on recognizing disease and treating disease. So at the SDR, we um, reasoned that the skin is a very accessible organ and we could be at the forefront of this development. And so we thought to, to generate the Skin Science Foundation, which will promote this concept of preventive medicine through acquiring uh, big data and analyzing big data to capturing these, these transition phases.
But for the future, it's very important to get the young uh, next generation interested. And we also need the solid uh, background research because we are going more and more to very uh, uh, personalized uh, medicine. So we have to understand what is the background. I cannot think of ESDR um, not going into the future much faster than other society. We've seen so much discovery in science in skin brought about through presentations at the ESDR, but the pace of discovery, the pace of change and innovation, collaboration, not just amongst academics, but amongst clinicians, amongst industry, amongst all sorts of other partners, the acceleration in what's being discovered is truly amazing. And I would predict that the next 50 years for the ESDR is going to be really healthy and going to be one of amazing discovery, innovation and benefit for patients. And I'm really excited about that. Plus, I hope we have a great party. I hope that the next 50 years are as successful as the last 50 years were. Um, so um, I think it's a story of success. Skin was a wonderful organ to be working on and they could contribute they had their own research interest now in dermatology that wasn't a thing you worked as a dermatologist as a clinician and you were going to work it all out well you couldn't other people were interested in the science of skin and it was important to encourage them to come into the skin encourage them to come in to look at MSH and its pigmentary uh, interest or oh, pheromones that occur in the skin, all sorts of things that happen in the skin and make the skin interesting as an organ to work on for outsiders. I think the SDR encouraged this and we tried to bring this in and we did encourage this and I think it was one of the good things we did in the SDR. Well, I see a bright future for ESDR. Uh, I think that uh, it has, the meetings have, have become just bigger, I would say, and also always new things uh, coming, very innovative approaches. So um, I, I would say partially the meetings, they have to stay because they are so important, I think, for, for, for many of us and also for our careers, they are very, very important to keep to keep contact with, um, and and also to make new contacts with other researchers, uh, especially within Europe. So, I think that that needs to go on. And then, then I know there are some other innovative approaches. So I think that for the future, this will even expand uh, to some other areas as well, like education, e-learning, mentoring, and so on. And I think this is a very, very good thing. So, um, with that, I would like to actually make a toast to all of you. Again, wish I could be there in person, but very, very soon. Congratulations again on reaching your 50th anniversary. Cheers. Dermatologist and skin scientist at the University of Zagreb, Hungary, we all wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday, ESDR! Happy birthday, ESDR!